Hey guys, welcome back to Green Water Fish. Today I have something really exciting to show you guys. And I got a huge tub for my goldfish. Well, I honestly think that goldfish will do way better in those tubs than compared to, you know, in a glass aquarium. I think it's better for their coloration, better for their growth. And in general, I just think it's also more, you know, more interactive with your goldfish in this way because you can just sit by the pond and then just interact with your goldfish. So I got this tub from Tractor Supply. I'm sure you can buy that on Amazon as well. Um, and this is actually not a Rubbermaid tub because I heard that there was a lot of issues with Rubbermaid tub drain plug being leaking. Um, and I also just in general like the shape of this tub because it's pretty much um, an oval shape. And I like how it's uh, smooth on the edges, not like the Rubbermaid has like multiple ridges. And I just, I guess I just like the structure and um, the design better. Um, also, this um, plastic is a little bit more flexible than the Rubbermaid plastic, so I guess um, if you have any trouble getting to the door, um, this one will be easier because this one fits right in your door. Um, but I believe Rubbermaid, uh, depending on the size, it's much deeper. Well, I just like my goldfish to be in a shallower pond. So this is actually made by Tough Stuff. As you can see here, they claim that everything is recycled. I mean, I don't really care, but cool, it's recycled. Yay for the environment. And this is a 110 gallon tub. And I'll probably fill it up to like maybe 80 gallon-ish. Now this tub this does come with a drain plug. As you can see here, you can just screw it in and out. Um, and there's this drain plug on the other side. Well, I tried to fill up with the tank uh, with water today because um, I heard that there are some leakage issues with certain tubs. It's more of a luck issue. So I was like, why don't I just try my luck today? So I've tried to fill up the tub and at around like 60 gallon-ish, uh, the drain plugs start leaking very slightly from the outside, the edges, like right here. So that was a bummer, but it holds like half of a tub, no problem. So I guess it's just the water pressure creeps up and the tub can't keep up anymore. So I had to drain the tub completely and getting some aquarium uh, silicone sealant and I'm going to seal the plug um, from both inside and outside and leave it to cure for 40 hours and fill up with water and see how it does again. And I will keep you guys updated on that. So I got this aquarium silicone sealant and um, you don't have to get the same one but basically um, I guess you can just get something like GE General Energy 100% silicone sealant would be fine but I don't want to deal with using a caulk and stuff so I just went with this one. It's pretty cheap like four and a half bucks. In the back there are Ooh, there's detailed instructions um, about like how you use it for other things and how you use it for aquarium. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So I just want to show you guys real quick before the water covers it. As you can see here, I put silicone around, um, all around the inside side of the valve, the drain plug, um, all over it. And right now I'm filling water. And I have also put silicone all around the other side of the drain plug. And this is where it used to leak the first day. I have a feeling that I might not just have tightened this tight enough, but hopefully the silicone will do the trick. We'll find out. <sighs> okay guys, so looks like the silicone did its job and it's not leaking. And I think I put about 80 to 90 gallons of water in here. And um, I tried to fit the um, aqua clear filter on it, but the rim is a little bit too thick. So I couldn't put I couldn't put a hang on back filter on it yet, or at all, or ever. But I did transfer most of the media backs onto a onto two sponge filters, and because the media backs has been in the filter for a very long time, so they carry beneficial bacteria with them. So the cycle started immediately, so I don't have to worry about cycling the tank. Now all I need to do is to acclimate the fish to the same water temperature and we're almost there.
So today when I'm changing water for the tub, guess what I saw? Another fry. Apparently they spawn the day um, or the day after they move into the tub. So I don't know how I feel about this. There might be more in the tub, but it's so dark. I can't really see anything. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's so small. I don't know if you guys can see this, but trust me, there is a fry here. Looks like the fry just hatched. It's not really fully free swimming yet, so maybe like two days ish old since they spawned. So it's like one or two days after they move into the tub, they start chasing around and spawning. And the ironic thing is that I think around the day that my goldfish spawn, my other tank, the planted tank with the penguin tetras, they spawn as well. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, or Facebook, y'all know that I posted a footage of those naughty tetras spawning, spreading all the eggs and you know, all these stuff all around the tank, right? Around the day after I just finished changing water for them. So that was kind of annoying too because it's not a tank setup for spawning and um, the fish, well the fries are not gonna live and the eggs are not likely to be hatched because for penguin tetras for the first couple of days of their lives for hatching period and for the fry fear period they cannot get any light otherwise they will be prone to you know get diseases or not even hatch so those little fries are not going to survive in that tank because that's really strong like this is meant for a planted tank not for spawning plus all of my neon tetras and Corridors were like swimming on the bottom picking up all the eggs and got really fat that night because they had so much food to eat So yeah, so that was kind of interesting temperature kind of got up this week and the heater in my apartment Didn't really turn off so during the day it was really really warm yesterday. So everything just started getting naughty. Oh well Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and please subscribe to my channel I put out new videos every week and please feel free to check out my Instagram and Facebook page. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!